Good morning and welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Ishia Farms. Looks like a gorgeous day out here. Well, a little, little rainy over there maybe. But I don't see any rain in the forecast. We have done a little bit of work right over here. Now I'm not sure. Oh, jump on down here. I am not sure if this is going to do us any good. But I do think I'm going to get the T-Rex and we're going to remove a few trees. We are trying to make some room on this farm for stuff that we need. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to set it. We, I've had issues. I can't set things almost anywhere. There's very few places where it will actually allow me to put them. I'm not sure why, but I've tried to put them over here. And it won't let me. I've tried to put them over here on this side, and it won't let me. I've even tried to put them right next to the, uh, what is that? That would be a shed, a garage, a building, whatever you want to call this big old beast. Uh, I tried to put it right on the other side there, like this one is. There was a cell point, and no way. It was not going. It didn't even have a silo. It was just the, uh, just the grate to park on. So I am going to go ahead and we're going to cut down some trees. I'm not sure if we're going to do that right now, right at the first, but that is definitely something that we're going to do. I took this uh, this back a wee bit, kind of tried to make it a little natural looking, give us a little more space, put, our, put some new gravel down here. I think she looks really nice, definitely opened it up, gave us some more room. Let's, uh, with all of that being said, let's take a quick look at the map and let's see what we have to do. Uh, last time I looked, the grapes weren't ready and fun stuff like that. Let's see. Whoa! Hey, we're ready. We're, and we are ready with everything. Now, I don't know if you see, the, you see, you saw the last episode, but at the end of the day, Towards the end of the day, we had cut this alfalfa field and took it all down, got it fertilized, and there it is. It's done. Less than 24 hours, basically almost 12 hours, that thing is done, ready to go. Can't complain, good money, but I'm, uh, I'm already getting tired of alfalfa. I can only do that so many times in a row, and it's like, all right now, that's, that's enough. We might... Uh, might not be playing with the alfalfa field on this one. But we have soybeans, 7, 8, and 9 to do. And we were toying with what field we wanted to buy. And I was looking for maybe number 26, which was 305. We are a little short of that. What What did it say? What, what, what do we have? We got 255. Now, if we can get 7, 8, and 9 harvested, that's going to do a lot towards getting that new field we have that and we also have our grapes over here that is also i think we've got like i think we got like ninety-eight thousand out of it last time i have a horrible horrible memory uh too many bad things as a young man i think has a lot to do with it but that's okay we we don't go there anymore so we've got to decide what we want to do. What's our plan of attack? I'm thinking right now, let's get started on our soybeans. We've got our harvester right here. It's ready to go. Let's hop in this guy here, start her up. Come on, Mr. John Deere, let's rock and roll. Now, the only way to get this guy out of here, you can't make it through the road because it's too narrow between the light poles and the trees. So I guess this is the best way. Ta-da, and we made it. So let's get over here. Drop our header right, say, here. Stop, 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 stop. There it is. Okay, come on. I got to get back in and play with this damn John Deere. I messed around with the brakes. I tried to make them better, and I think because of my lack of automotive knowledge, which there's a lot of lacking going on there. Give me a house. I can make that thing do whatever you want it to do. But cars, me and cars go bad. 
really quickly. Don't let me work on them. Nobody wants that. That, that is fine. My goodness. Okay. Let's kick this guy on. We will run one headland, I think, across this. And that should do us just fine. But I do think across the bottom of the field, I think that's the bottom. We'll call this the top and the other end the bottom. I think we should run two. It's, uh, they're not that big, so it really shouldn't matter too much. Back up, back up, back up. Don't go too crazy there. So we'll run one down here, just down the side. Since we're on our way, we might as well just go ahead and grab some of it. And then two headlands down at the other end. And then we should be able to set a worker loose here. And maybe while they are doing what they need to do, we can run down and grab us a grape harvester. And that takes a little bit of work. You know, I wonder. I want the T-Rex. And the T-Rex goes quite slow also. Maybe we could get a low boy trailer and we could throw the T-Rex on there. And we could throw the grape harvester on there. And, uh, sorry, that's my phone. I don't know what the dealio is. Who's bothering me? It's my own fault. I didn't, uh, I didn't shut it off. So, it's my fault. I apologize for that. Sorry about your field. I'm trying to go between the rows here. Drop it down. If I didn't, send me a bill. I'll pay for it. That's the way it goes. Now, I had forgotten what I was saying in the middle of. But I think... Uh, oh, yeah, so it's about the low boy. I think we could use the low boy to transport both harvesters. I think that would be awesome. All right, let's get this guy going. He is on his way. All right, so we've got a good start. Let him go for a little bit. He should take a couple of trips before he needs emptied. I'm going to go to the store and see about getting us a couple pieces of equipment. Alright, here we are at the stow. Now let's go find low, low loaders. That's what we're looking for, low loaders. What do we got? Well, that is all we have. Oh, uh, hmm. Are they going to be big enough to do what we need to do? This guy looks like a monster. I would say this this guy should be big enough, right? I could probably get the uh, harvester in the middle and then the T-Rex on the back. So if that's the case, what do we need? We either need a dolly, which would work. A dolly and a tractor, maybe? I have a tractor that I think can do it. So, all right, let's, uh, I'm just going to leave it. Well, wait a second. Let's, only because Onyx. Yeah, that looks good. That'll go really nice with the tractor, the Fendant. Let's do that. Okay, let's lease it. Yes. Now let's go back. And we need a dolly, right? There we go. This looks like a, looks like a dolly. Hmm, duels are wide. Oh, let's do the wide tires. It only costs us a few bucks. All right, there's that. Now, let's go over here. We're not done renting yet, that's for sure. Okay, uh, we need forestry equipment. There it is. And that guy there. Forestry, no. I always like to change the color. I like the olive green. Yeah, that's my favorite right there. All right. We don't want to buy it. We just want to lease it. Indeed. Man, oh man, we are spending money like it's going out of style. And now we need to go back and go harvester. And where is it? Oh, there it is. Right here. Uh, that is the one I want. So we're going to take this, 
engine set up let's might as well go big go big go home I don't know that it makes any difference wheel set up I don't think that matters at all let's uh, let's lease that as well there we go let's go take a look take a gander here at what we got oh is it all gonna fit you know I think it's gonna fit reasonably well now let's go start that guy up come on Vario let's do it and we are gonna haul our butt right down to the store it looked like it was taking off fast and then I hopped in and it looks like she no whoa whoa simmer down man simmer down all right let's go get this thing picked up all right let's get this guy hooked up now okay ramps down go ramps that was interesting a little whatever that little thing was it just kind of released and shut that off I think the harvester should go first <laughs> I do like the turning radius on this thing. It turns like a dream. All right, let's keep an eye on these tires here. All right, go, go, go. Go, 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 there it is. Just like so. Oh, that was... That looks like it was made for it. That is bootifamous. All right, let's hop in this guy. This is one of my favorite pieces of equipment right here. Doesn't go very fast, but by golly, does it do its job. All right. Ooh. What are we, oh. Sorry about that. Ooh, didn't mean to destroy your trailer there. Uh, okay, I think... Oof. That is a little precarious. Let's see, can I hop in this guy? Well, okay, kind of glitches through the sides there, but... There it is. There, that looks pretty good. I think what I want to do is hop in this guy and back him up. There, that's perfect. Shut that off. Back over here. Shut that off. Are we gonna make it? Ah, uh, that is the big question that I have. I don't know. Do we have straps? Uh, oh, do we not have any straps? Come on, please, find me a strap. A uh, strap? Strap? Uh, we, we don't have any straps. That's, uh, that's not good. Maybe it just needed... No? Well? I have no idea what the odds are that we're going to actually make it where we need to go. But there we are. It's, it's loaded. That is faux show. Let's, let's get that off of there. That, uh, that looks pretty good. So we're going to try to head. Jeez, my goodness. I don't think I'd want to be driving next to this guy on the roads. That's for sure. I do not have a lot of confidence. I don't think we need to be going at 40. So don't hit me. Nobody hit me. Uh, all right. I don't think we need to be going top speed here, but I, right now, she's looking pretty stable. 
I am pretty happy. All right, so let's get it done. Let's go drop off the T-Rex first and then take the harvester the rest of the way down. Oh, yeah. And would you just look at that? We are here without a scrape, a scuff, a nothing. We even went up that crazy tree road there and had a pretty darn good time at it. There we go. Let's drop that. Come on, baby. There you go. Back that guy up. No problem whatsoever. Now, what trees? I, I don't know about you, but I am. I don't mind that tree so much. I think I have a few trees that are going to go away. This is one of them. Back up. Down you go. Oh, well, I was going to say, can I get rid of this tree? I wasn't even sure. There we go. I don't know if it goes down into the ground or not. I can't really see. It already looks like it's kind of floating there. Just, oh, see, why you gotta do things like that? This is not a chainsaw. It's not supposed to be cutting nice and neat slivers. Hey, you got that one. Well, this could take a minute. Sometimes this thing here, some trees, man, it cuts down lickety split. No problems whatsoever. Then there are others, like this particular one, where it just wants to cut down pieces. Go away. Come on, be good. Sometimes you got to go on the other side. Sometimes you got to fiddle around with it. Nothing works super, super smooth. So let me go ahead and get this tree out of here one way or another, and uh, we will move on to another sliver. Oh, my goodness. This, this could be painful as well. Well, finally, I got that thing to disappear. I have no idea how many slivers came down that thing, but uh, come on. I need it to get these last few little things out of here just to... Clean it up. Really? Well, there's that one. Yay! Oh. There, come on, take it, take it, get it out. Uh, I swear, sometimes this thing is more trouble than it's worth. I guess. I'll have to figure out what to do with this thing. Uh oh. The hitbox on there is a little up oh, there it is. Don't ask me why that's the spot, but by golly. Up oh, there we go. Now I don't know that I can see through the ground or anything. I guess not. Now, I wonder. Let me do this real quick. Let's go in here. Let's Let's save the game. All right, now I want to go here. Start landscaping. Come on over here. And let's see. Uh, oh wait, I need, I need my help window. I need my help window. On, oh, thank you. There we go. All right. So we need to lower. Something like right here. And it looks like there's no tree down in there. Hot diggity dog. Okay. So we need to flatten. Let's flatten that right back out. And there it is. It wasn't easy, by golly, but we got rid of that tree.
That took some effort. Okay, let's hop in this dude. And we have another tree or two to take care of. So we are on our way. Let's play Lumberjack. And there we go. I have to say, those two trees went so much easier. It's so much better. This is going to be an extremely nice little area right here. It was all wasted. And hopefully we can place some stuff in there. There's one more tree that I'd really like to get rid of, but I think I'm going to leave it just for aesthetics. It's not the tree in front of me. It's the... Look at that guy. That's not good. I need to do something about that floater. It's this tree over here. It just annoys me to no end. But I think for right now, I think we're going to leave it. Let's shut that thing off. Let's hop on out. That is, that is awesome. That made my yard so much bigger. Now, if we can play stuff, life will be good. But if not, well, we can still park stuff, I guess. We can do something with it. Okay, so now I need to hop back into Fendant here. And uh, we need to take this guy to the grape field. See if we can make us some money. We just spent some. Now we got to see if we can make some. Well, we made it without incident. Now all we need to do is get this giant beast unloaded. Let's drop the ramps. Let's see. Oh, well, see, it throws the little straps down on the ground. That is pretty sweet. All right, let's get this beast out of here. All right, start her up. And go, go, go. I can't believe this has gone off without a hitch. No crash, no fuss, no muss. We kicked its butt. Now, I'm very curious to see how we compare to the last harvest numbers. We harvested, I think it was around 43,000. That's what I have written down anyway. Let's unfold this beast. Lower it. And turn it on. Now, I did go strolling through the field, and it's funny because parts of it say 100% fertilized. Some parts say only 80%, so somewhere between 80 and 100% fertilized. Not all the way fertilized. Whatever. I don't know how that works. But, well, I guess we take what we can get. So, all right. This should, uh, this should be fairly painless I would think last time I think we made I can't remember completely but I'm thinking that we made right around a hundred thousand maybe 98,000 something like that now I do remember that we had an issue where it was not harvesting everything as we were going up and down the field let's take a quick quick hey I missed it Scroll over, over, there it is. Now see, it seems to be doing much better this time. But before, we had yellow dots. We'll see when we get done. i not counting my chickens before they're hatched. Something tells me if we had issues last time, we're going to have issues this time. Well, we got, oh, what, about 20%? It doesn't seem like the numbers are going to be like, substantially better. But we can't plow it because we can't replant it. So all we can do is uh, fertilize it. It doesn't need lime. We took care of that. Took care of two fertilization states. Ooh, turn, baby, turn. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on. That's what I'm going to do. We'll see how much uh, how much crop we get out of this thing. So hopefully we're going to make some money. And our first full tank. Very nice. Now I do have to remember this harvester holds a little bit more than the last one I had. 
This one holds 15,000 liters, and the other one I had held 8,000. So it would take. It is going to take a little longer for this guy. I'll pipe out. That's what I got to do. There it is. Could not remember for this guy to fill up. So just because it went to there before we filled up doesn't mean we didn't do. Uh, we didn't do okay. All right, gonna fill this thing up. Unloads pretty good, pretty quick. Still, you got all kinds of people just walking up and down this sidewalk. I don't know where they're going or what they're doing. They're not going to. The, hey, there is somebody out on the beach. That is the first person I've seen out on the beach, way out there amongst the umbrellas. At least somebody's using it. Maybe the uh, maybe the pandemic is all over for them, and they can they can go back to the beach. I know they can here. Here in Florida, I think the beaches are reopened now. I'm not much of a beach guy, so it did that part didn't affect me at all. With me, the beach is just uh, it's sandy gritty the salt water sticky uh, and hot no thanks give me give me air conditioning on my days off I don't need to I don't need to be hanging out in the heat Blech. no thanks <laughs> that is not for me I do enough heat during the week I don't need to be sitting out there for fun just sitting out in the sun cooking no, oh, thank you. All right. Anyway, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Let's get this thing done. Let's get her done. Yes, I did want to let you guys know that this harvester here has been modified just a wee bit. See, there we go. We missed that. Well, how did we do that? I went up and down each aisle, and it still says that I missed. Was it this one I missed? See, there are no grapes, but yet it shows me harvesting them. Go figure. We're still getting grapes off of it. Well, that took care of most. All right, let's go down this one. I think this is the one. Let's take a quick, yeah, I think so. Down at the end here, it's showing that we missed some down here. So far, this is the biggest glitch I've seen with the grapes. Is it doesn't always harvest them. I do not know why. There we go. There we go. Maybe I'm just not lined up perfect. Maybe that's it. I will try to make sure that we do we are just right on it and see if maybe that does it because we always end up with again there it is little yellow lines I missed a bunch on that one what in the world now this happened before I modified the header or the combine is what not really it's a harvester I guess we'll call it not really a combine but it was doing it the first time I did this as well and that was no mods, that was straight, there it is, straight from the store. And there we go. So, I, well, I mean, I guess we do what we got to do. We'll go through and double check it and try to get as much as we can. Did we get that one? No. Uh. All right, well, I'm going to fight with this a little bit. Let's see what we can do, see how much money we can make. Quit my belly aching. Just do what needs to be done. Well, there we are. Full one more time. Now, if this is any indication, we have that over there left, which is quite a bit. And we will be at 30,000 liters when we empty this. And the last time, I only got 43,000 liters off of the whole field. So I think that the liming and the fertilization 
helped tremendously, as you would think it would. But I was just not sure how much, with it still needing fertilize, or fertilize, jeez, go on, get with it, uh, still needing limed. And that's not it either. Plowed. That's what it needs. It needs plowed. Holy cow. What in the world is going on with me? It's too early. Too early. I'm making this on a Sunday morning, so uh, it's it's early. And there we go, going up. Oh, we must be full. All right, so pipe down. Lucky for us, we have another trailer right here. Let's hope it is short enough. Whoa, there we go. Little bumpy bump. That's okay. We're all right. No, no harm, no foul. Come on, dump it, big dog, dump it. I don't have access to that land. What are you talking about? There we go. So all I need, if I get one more harvester full, that means that we've reached more than what we got the last time we harvested this thing. Which we should. As slow as grapes are to grow, now somewhere, somewhere, I think it was this one right here. We have some down at the end. Let's go and right down. Yeah, let's see. now hold on. Let's check. Let's check. Oh, we're doing good. All right. So we are going to keep driving right up and down these fields and seeing how it goes. All right, there we go. I think we're doing pretty good. I went back and tried to clean up most of the yellow. It's a, it's a battle, but it's nothing we can't handle. All right, we're just going to keep on keeping on. And there we go. We have surpassed our last harvest. Let me back up here so you can see where we are at. All right, there we go. So we passed our last harvest, and we still have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like nine more rows to go. So we may get a whole nother harvester full of crop just because we limed and made sure it was fertilized. Now, I am not even 100% sure that it needed lime, to be honest. All I knew is uh, that, whoa, spinning tires, look at that. Is that I couldn't see it needed plowed, so I went ahead and I put lime on it. Now, I should have uh, went and checked. Oh, look at that. It kind of lifts the whole back end off of there, doesn't it? I watched it all lift up. I would assume it was uh, teetering on the edge of the trailer there. Oh, I don't think we're... Are we going to have an, enough room for all this? No, we are not. So that means that we need to not run that gentleman there over. Pull it off to the side just in case somebody wants to drive through. Now, where is the best price for grapes? Grapes. All right, what do we got? Oh, the green grocer for $24.9. Oh, almost $25. Holy cow. That is, uh, that's where we're going. Where is the green grocer? Isn't that right next to me? All right, that is what we like. Come on, let me out of there. Okay, let's hop in this pig. Start her up and go. Okay, I have to say, having our uh, great field right next to the best sell point, that's pretty good. No complaints at all. Up, 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 Simba up. All right, pull her on in here and dump some white grapes. And dump some white grapes. There we go. Doing the old double dump. Kicking it, man. All I need is one more thing off to the side there. If I get a triple, that would be impressive. Ooh, look at the money go, though. We are up to 320. 325, 330. My goodness gracious. We are making some serious bank. $106,000.
That is how you do it, folks. That is it. That's how you make some money. Got to have a little patience. But out of this little field, to get a, over $100,000 worth of crop, that is that's pretty impressive, I think. Because this is not a very big field. Turn this thing around. Come on. There we go. Just like that. Let's shut this guy off. Let's hop out. Run over here. Hop back into this dude. Hello there. Lady with the baseball hat. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, nice aim, huh? Not really. Not really whatsoever. I think we'll be fine. Let's dump it in there. Let's do it. We're kind of missing the bed there just a little bit. Let me turn off to the side where you can't quite. Well, you can still see, can't you? Glad it's not going to the ground. Pipe in. All right, let's finish her up. We are going to get over there and uh, get it done. I'm, uh, I am very curious to see how much money we're going to make off of this. Very nice. All right, we'll see you in a few. And just like that, it's our last row. How well did we do? Not too bad, a few yellow dots. I had to go back a few times and clean up a few rows. But overall, not too bad, not too bad at all. Let's see, let's take a quick look and we're good. We are good. So I ended up dumping one other time. What do we got here? We have uh Whoa, hey. Look at that. I am getting some grapes. Don't ask me how, but I'm getting some grapes. This is what I don't understand. How does it do that? I just get grapes? I don't know. It should be all harvested, but evidently it's not. So it looks like we are going to get about 65,000 liters off of these this field and the last time we harvested this guy we got 43,000 43 6 so 43,600 and we got let's see 45 and 15 is 65 65 yeah oh are we full, really, with just that little bit left? Corn found it. Come on. Okay. We'll load up. That way, we, you know, it sounds more impressive. We had to use two trailers twice. <laughs> so, all right. Let's park this guy over here. Just pull him up to the gas station. We don't need any fuel. That is for sure. Oh, wait. We will shut it off. There we go. Hop on in, fire this bad boy up. So we got a right around 20,000 liters more. So we made it, uh, what, an extra 50 grand, something like that? That's, uh, that's quite a bit for just fertilizing and throwing some lime on the field. Imagine we could get, I don't even know, what is it, there's a percentage for plowing when it needs plowed, and I cannot remember what that percentage is. Let's see here. Whatever it is, our money is shooting up. We are so close to the $400,000 mark again. Oh, 399000 that's that's not too shabby since we just were at the 400,000 mark and we bought ourselves a new tractor and we've leased our equipment I think we do need to return all of that so let's go to the garage and I think everything can be returned return yes return yes return yes return yes okay there it is uh, you know, wait a second you know what I forgot about we have this guy right here just sitting in the field waiting. That's not good. 
Okay, so let's get our butt down to the field. We have soybeans to get. What is... Well, we'll have to wait. Once I get down there and we start unloading that guy, then we can see what soybeans are selling for, and hopefully they're selling for a good price since I haven't been able to set down any type of uh, storage silo. I should have turned there, but I think we'll be all right. We can get to our field this way as well. A little foggy, it looks like, out there in the morning. A poof, a boat. All right. Let's see. Our field should be right up here on the left-hand side. Obviously, it's not on the right-hand side. That would not do us very much good. <laughs> I got to say, this city is full of walkers. Good for them. I'm more of a driver. That's what I'm more of. I don't mind riding my bike with my kids here and there, but... Uh, Shut that off. Hop on out. Let's go. Let's take care of this guy. All right, start her up. Back up just a wee bit. I never have gone back in and fixed the brakes on this crazy combine here. But we'll get to it one day. I'll just put it on the list. The ever-growing, never-ending list of things that need to be done. I would assume those little holes are covered in plastic or something. Because if not, I would not think grain would stay up there very well. Maybe it's a clear plastic. That's what we're going to say. Clear plastic. There we go. I'll stick with that. Alright, we're going to get this guy dumped. Get them back up on the field working their butt off hopefully making us money and we are empty very good let's get this guy come on back it up back it up back that thing up man back it up go 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 all right pick that down turn that thing on and put a worker to work. There it is. All right, we're going to let them do their job. That's a good thing. Leave them alone. Let them work. And then come back and fix what they mess up. I had forgotten we were going to look at the price of soybeans and see what we were doing here. Okay, soybeans. And there we are. Well, edge grain is 2.7. That's not bad. I haven't seen three anything in this map, so two, oh well, what is it, cotton, woo, cotton is 49, 88, woof, eggs are going well, except I don't have any animal pens at all, they don't have anything on the map, and I don't, right now, I don't own anything that is even remotely big enough to put any kind of, uh, animal pen at all even a chicken coop I don't I can't even get a grain silo to be put down all right well we got here just in the nick of time usually they jump right over and start the next field but they did not and there it is and we'll get them going okay there we go so it looks like the edge grain vault right now is going to be our best bet at almost three hundred thousand or three hundred three thousand dollars per thousand liter so that's i think that is sellable right there for sure 2773 i think we'll take it cool all right we'll see you when this guy is full well i finally got it i cannot believe it it took a whole bunch of glitchiness i literally set this thing down this is a uh multi fruit silo small one but I set this thing down and it literally took about two and a half minutes before I could move anything at all but it did it did finally set I don't know uh, I'm assuming it's an issue with the map uh, it can't be every mod that we want to put down has an issue but I now have a storage silo woohoo and a full tanker over there okay let's get to my truck not that truck. This truck. 
It's a nice deep rumble for a start. I kind of like it. All right, let's we'll zip on over here. And let's see about getting this guy emptied. So what we got, that'll be 20, 22, six, 22,600 we'll get out of this. And then probably, I don't think we'll get another full harvester, but we should get, you know, probably three quarters. So hopefully we will get close to, oh, fire the worker, close to 30,000 liters out of this, which be what 90,000 bucks right around or not quite but uh, money nonetheless we will be able to buy we will be able to buy something let's we got to figure out what oh we were talking about buying this guy right here that's wheat we could go ahead and buy him what do we got it needs a fertilization but no lime so if we bought that guy, we could at least get one fertilization state on there, which would help us out tremendously. I think that is a very, very good idea. I am not going to go over here. We're not harvesting the alfalfa right now. It's just going to, it's just going to be. I'm about alfalfa it out. Not really. We'll go back there. There's too much money to not do anything with it. So I think we're going to buy this big green guy right here. Number Well, what do we got? How much How much money we got right now? Oh, oh, not enough because, wait. Holy cow. Whoa, 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 whoa. I had $399,000. Oh, that's right. How much did that dang silo cost me? I'm losing my mind. It's okay. I know. It's uh, not much to lose these days. Let's see, uh, the small silo, I went by it. Oh, well, it was 120,000. That is what messed us up. So hopefully, if we can get, if we can get about 90 grand out of this guy, that is going to definitely help us out as far as buying that field. Come on, brakes. I gotta fix these brakes. There we go. Okay, and this guy, I think I might just go ahead and take this over. Go ahead and wrap it up. Let's make it quick. That's what I think. I have to say, this little combine just turns on a dime. It uh, is quite impressive. Raise that bad boy up. Crank. Look at that turning radius on that thing. That is crazy. Whoa, the driving is atrocious. But the turning radius is outstanding. All right. We are going to get, what, like 3rd, 27, 2,800, 1,000, 28,000 liters, something like that. All right. Let's get over here and let's find it. Don't, let's do that. Let's do that. Now, I don't think... There's, if there's any room in this, it's not much. Just enough. Okay, yeah, just a very little bit. Back up there, Junior. All right, perfect. That guy's draining out of there. Hop back in the man. Go, go. So what are you, 26,000 liters? And we are going to the edge grain vault, correct? Oh, yeah. All right. So at least that's close. So we end up with 28. Okay. I think I need a running start at this. Okay, let's turn around here. That gear. Whoa. Third seems to be a bear right there. It really slows her down. Go, go, go. There we go. We're getting some speed now. Got to get up this big old hill. Go! Oh, that was, that was no good. I was hoping for some air. Maybe a little bit too much weight. All right. 
Here we go, here we go. I don't think we can get both. Nope. We can't, so alright, we're gonna dump this guy. And we are back up under the over the three hundred. Now we can buy that field. There we go. Man, that is going up fast. That is clicking like right now. Oh yeah, we are gonna own us a new field just momentarily. And one is done. That was sixty grand. And here goes the other. Now that's what I uh so there was another 18, so that was 78,000. Now let's look at the map. You look at the size of this field, 7, 8, and 9. And then you look at the size of this little grape field over here. It is, uh, my goodness, it is small. It is probably smaller than half of what that field is. And we got a lot more money for grapes than we did out of, uh, are soybeans which is crazy soybeans are always the money maker always the money maker but in this map I believe grapes to be king grapes to be king well with all of that I think we did good today we got our grapes harvested oh you know what we'll do I think we should just go ahead right now you guys watch me harvest grapes and all that fun stuff let's go ahead and get back there and let's buy Field 26. Boom. There it is. We own. That's what we own. We got a little bit a little bit of a ways to go before we buy everything. But we may be. At some point in time. I'm not sure. We may be spreading our wings with our farm. And start putting some. Uh, buildings on other areas. Take a field maybe. And turn it into our farm I think that might be a good idea but we'll have to ponder that on another time with all of that thank you guys for tuning in I hope you had some fun I hope you enjoyed uh, if there's anything that you like anything you didn't like please as always let me know thumb it up thumb it down either way but until next time have yourselves a great day and see you